So this is one that I'm going to do real quick about printing big or small or printing small to get big. I did a lens for my light. If you can see, there's it's brighter. I did one a long time ago with my little printer and made all the shells, little quarters of the shell, and glued them all together. And then just recently I said, hey, that's under 300 millimeters. 245 millimeters diameter I can print that all in one on the bigger printer with the bigger nozzle and get a cleaner clearer much clearer and I'll show you in a minute I gotta take it down because I put it up like a dummy it's a much clearer lens so I get more light which is a good thing because the other one was kind of foggy which was also a good thing depending on what you want let me get it down and show you So here's the first one I ever did. And I did this when I first got the Max Micron to get it in the lens. As you can see, it's kind of smoky, but it's way clearer. I actually replaced it and I made this because the one, it's a very cheap, um, it's a super cheap fan that came with a bulb, a single little like itty bitty bulb for the light. It was, you know, I think it was 40 bucks I paid for this fan brand new. It, it was, it's actually not garbage, but you'd think it was garbage, just price-wise. I'm surprised how good it is, but anyways. I, uh, I took the light out, and I put a circular LED up in there, which I can't shine at it, because you'll never be able to see it, but it was one of those little 8-inch circular LEDs, which sheds a lot more light, as you can see. The original fan came with a glass globe, but it was pure white. And it let it diffused the light, but it didn't let very much through. It blocked a lot of light, and it was dark in here, and that's my main light in the room. So, I thought I'd print one. Now, I originally split this up into multiple parts. I think there's ten, nine. There's a base, four panels, and then there's four little lip rings that I used. You can't see, but there's a little lip ring because knowing 3D printing, especially when I was, you know, this is when I was first starting out, they don't exactly line up perfectly. If you look real close, it's kind of flat. and It's alright, it, but it wasn't perfect. And I knew it wouldn't be. I hadn't tuned the print. I literally just got into Max Micron when I did this. But I hadn't tuned it yet. So, I uh, made a lip to glue them all together. So basically there's a base with a little notch where each one of these fits in. They slide into it. I glued them all in with some crazy glue. Put the, you know, set them all together, got them as good as I could, put the lip on it, and even though they were cut here, I just turned them 45 degrees so the seams in the middle of each one of these glued it all together. It's still got a white tone to it, sheds light, but it's still kind of dark in here, even with, I think that's a 20 LED circular bulb. So recently I was thinking about it and went, hmm, I have a big printer. I can print it all in one piece. Same thing. And actually, I did change it a little. Now, the funny thing is, is when I printed this, these these clamshells, half shells, quarter shells, whatever you want to call them, I printed standing up with no supports. They printed this way. And they actually worked really, really well. That was uh, actually one of the videos. That you might find a video. I did it with the uh, print and Z plate because it held them. I remember that now. Anyway. So I domed this a little more so I could print it in one layer. It's This is a sharper ankle. It's I undomed it, you could say. It used to come out a little more round here, where now it's a, a steeper angle. So I didn't have to worry about overhangs on the bottom. It's a little steeper right here. But other than that, having the large format printer and then putting the large nozzle, I print this with a .8 nozzle. I can do it in one shell, and this is actually, I mean, it's flexible, but it's not going to, it's pretty thick. It's not, I'm not worried about it splitting open like a .4. Now, that's what made this. This is actually the same thickness. This is only 0 0.8 millimeters wide, but with a .4 nozzle, and it went back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, and it made two layers, you know, two, two shells. And that's all it is. And it's kind of cloudy. Now... Part of it also, same exact filament, literally the same roll and everything. I've had that roll forever. I very seldom use the clear. It's literally the same roll of filament. Um, 
I've probably had it two, three years. Having the large format printer gives you options to do things like this. Well, you can see the ribbing in it there. That's pretty cool. Having the large format printer with the larger nozzles on it, or the ability to put larger nozzles on it, gives you sometimes better results than the little nozzles, depending on what you're looking to do. If you're looking to do large items that are tough and fast, this took three hours to print. That's it. Done deal. And this base is 3.5 millimeters solid. I mean it's solid. I don't know why, because I'm a dummy. Um, no, because when I spiralized it, I had to. Otherwise, it tried to spiralize the, the holes here where the mountings and strings go through. But yeah, it's a simple short video, you know, showing you that sometimes having the large nozzle might be a good idea. Think about it. If you have, I wouldn't use a large nozzle if it's your only printer, but if you have multiple printers, I don't know why my mail just popped up for no apparent reason. It keeps doing that. If you have a large format printer and you have a large nozzle on it, there's things you can do that the small nozzle can't necessarily do, or not as well. Anyway, it's something to think about when you use the larger nozzles. I've been doing a lot. I actually think I'm going to do a cover. We have a fan in the bathroom with the vent, and I've been thinking about for my mother. She likes the holidays. I've been thinking about making a lens for it. It's just short and, you know, short, you know what I'm talking about, the little bathroom fan lights. It's about that tall and flat on the bottom. And I've been thinking about making a panel in it that's removable in the bottom that I can put, like, colored filament in. I actually started, I was going to do a blue on this and then change my mind on it. I could put a colored, like, Christmas tree in it for Christmas or a little red heart in it for Valentine's Day. Put a little green, trans, you know, use a transparent filament. Put a little green clover leaf, or a four leaf clover in it. Stuff like that. And, and have it so you can just, you know, it's a little ring and I can pop it out. And then it, you do it like one or two layers with the color and then just trace around it with the clear. Whatever. The point is, is you can do it with the larger nozzle. I may actually, if I can get more film, I don't think I have enough left over to do another one of these. I've been thinking about, if you've seen any of my vases, I've been thinking about putting some kind of a design in this that will, you know, go around and make it look even cooler. But yeah, large nozzles, large format printers, they're not that expensive anymore. You still can do it with the smaller printers, you just have to split it up. Something to think about. Anyway, there it is. Large format printers, some of, the, some of the cool things you can do with a large format printer with a large nozzle.